What's up guys, my name is Uncage Games. Welcome back to another episode of Back to the Future, the game. Last episode we saw Edna and Doc kissing each other, and uh, or Emmett, not Doc. Past Doc, which is Emmett, kissing each other. So we still gotta break them up. Let's do it. What it is, what's good. If I'm gonna take Emmett's mind map, I better replace it with another one. Oh. Okay, yeah, I don't think we can do anything else in here, so let's just give the items that we have to Trixie. Trixie, we got the goods. We got the goods for ya. Let's see. Give that to her. Hey, Trixie. Are these furs good enough? Well, they're a little ratty, but uh, they'll work. How about the diamond in the photo album? I'll get them to you. Okay, we need a. We still need the diamond, but we got the photo album. I brought him its photo album like you asked. Let's see. Gee, he's not bad looking. In an egghead kind of way. Remember, I don't want you seducing <laughs> him for real. I ain't a cradle robber, kiddo. Now bring me that diamond and we'll be in business. Okay. Where can we get a diamond at? That's the true question here. Because I don't think anything around here is a diamond. Oh, wait, there's a... Wait, is that a diamond? Diamond shaped. Oh, okay. All right, all right. What does this do? And after oh, the rain, okay. what else? An artificial it's rainbow, a pleasant dream, reassuring valley, all the good people and the of Hill Valley that you that you are can take and carry you there. Or you will be the reality of how far we into the future Hull Hull for our peak at Hill Valley for 1981. Okay, shut up. Are you? You're saying a lot. Collective imagination of mankind. Could right. this be our venerable town square? Right, there we go. We got the last item that we need. Yes, indeed. Though the form looks what? strange and new, Say, the function remains the thing is still talking. For a phony but rock. where are Jimmy, all the people? Keep that up, and I may take Why, a real shine to you. I'd rather you take a, a fake shine to Emma. Work working a mile on it. Into the earth. <laughs> Giving future oh, Hill Valley you ten need million big citizens scene. plenty of everything space to work, friend, play, Emmett and Brown, raise their guy, family. Yay high! He'll be the one with Edna Strickland. Finally, I think stop Not talking. Belong, he won't. Great. All right, we're good. Now let's go get Emmett, right? Is that what we're supposed to do? Oh, it's smoking, so I guess we hey, did Emmett, something right. I think your mind map test is broken. Oh, well, that switch just keeps shoring out on me. No time to fix it now. I'll have to take care of it at the expo. Looks like I'm not going to be doing any more mind maps. I guess I'll test this out and hope for the best. I think this one's a gold mine, guys. I think this one's the good one. Took me a lot longer than I expected to figure this out, but I'm pretty sure it'll work now. There we go. Bingo. Now Emmett's mind map is as bad as Tannen's. Now all I have to do is swap this out with Emmett's original mind map and Emmett's own machine will do him in. Let's go. <laughs> there was a lot of like fiddling around to do. I had to like open the stew, I got a shotgun. Okay Emmett, get ready to meet the new you. Hey! What? I almost left behind oh, my God. mind map card. We're gonna show close. it off at the expo as a rare example of a model citizen. Edna kill me if I forgot that. She might kill you anyway when she gets a look at that mind map. <laughs> Once Emmett gets to the expo, I'll try to figure out how to get him to put his card in the mental alignment meter. Well, that's about it. It is? Yep. As soon as I get all this stuff loaded into the truck, I'll be ready for the expo. Wanna lend me a hand? Uh, sure. how about I go tell Edna you're coming? Okay. I'll, uh, get her ready for you to pop the question. Good thinking. Go on ahead, I'll meet you there. I really hope this works. Me too, man. Me too. After all that work, me too. Hmm, those shots, though. You know what I mean? Those skateboarding shots. Party! Doc! What's all the activity? What's all the hustle and bustle? It's almost time for the opening ceremony. Holy jeez. I better work fast. I think I got it all worked out. When it all comes together, Edna will think you're the worst guy in town. I just need a couple more pieces. Well, don't go to too much trouble. What do you mean? Oh. Um. 
You got Edna to call off? You got Edna to break things off? Not exactly. You see, I, I've been mulling things over, and... Uh, in the timeline you're from... The right timeline? Yes, yes. Uh, I've got a wife. Yes. A great wife. Clara, and kids, and a dog, and a bitch in time train. <laughs> and and Edna? How does her story turn out? How does she end up? Oh, well, Edna ends up... Oh, God, Marty. Um... Um... It's best not to know. You're not really supposed to know these things in advance. It's... it's bad luck. But you told me how my story turns out. Yeah, True. But and it's not as if I'll be in a position to do anything about it once my younger counterpart's destiny has shifted. I imagine I'll be folded into the new timeline, and I'll probably lose all memory of the old one. Maybe. So tell me, just to satisfy my curiosity, what's going to become of I feel him? like once we tell him, he's going to ruin it. Uh... To be honest, she ends up kind of sad. Sad? She lives with some cats in a dinky little apartment, and she spends most of her time yelling out her window at people, and collecting newspapers, and living in the past. I see. Doc, you better not change anything, man. Perhaps we've been going about this problem a long <laughs> way. Do we really have to completely obliterate my timeline so we can restore yours? Doc? Maybe we could have the best of both worlds. I could be with Edna, but it could be a little bit, you know, more healthy. Can you hear yourself? Do, do you know what you're saying? Let me remind you. Uh, she turned Hill Valley into a police state. It was her influence that led you to take over Hill Valley and turn it into this nightmare state. Come now. It wasn't as bad as all that. The crime rate was low, and the uniforms were nice. It was all right. I don't believe this. All I'm saying is, let's stop and take a breath. This elaborate plan to derail my younger self's love life, is the short-term misery worth the long-term gain? Maybe we can find a third way. One where everybody wins. What do you think? I don't think that's uh... going to be good. All right. Look, all these are pretty much no. No, like, not okay. No, I can't. No. I'm sorry, Doc. I can't go along with what you're saying. You don't belong with Edna. So you're determined to break us up, in spite of my stated wishes? Basically, yeah. Then there's nothing left to say? I think we made Doc mad. Where, where are you going? Why should it matter to you? Aren't you planning on overriding me? Oh, goodness. Man, what'd you say like that? It doesn't sound that... Okay, where's he going? Is he gonna undo everything we just did? What are you doing? Alright, here we go. Talk to Emmett. Hey, Emmett, what's keeping you? No, oh, hello, Sonny. I guess I've got a mild case of stage fright. I'm about to play my big scene, you know? No telling how Edna's gonna react. Wish me luck. Oh, for Pete's sake. <laughs> Let's spill on him again. He's like, how do you keep spilling oil on me, man? You've, uh, got something on your suit. Oh, so I have. Oh, well, time to do Anti destroy the suit. Formula, work your magic. Emmett! Just in the nick of time. Um, step back now. We're gonna need a little space here. Oh, aren't you a vision? Like something that descended from the heavens. Yes, I'm feeling a bit elevated at the moment. There's something I've just got to ask Wait, you. Wait, your tie's a bit crooked. I've been holding it inside for weeks now, and I've simply got to get it off my chest. Oh. Oh, oh, here we go. Uh-oh. My 
my grandfather's soul. Oh god, that's Formula. gross. Oh. Look, turn your head. I'll be right back and we can try this all over and again. And it's Lethrop Brown. Huh? Trixie Trotter. <laughs> How do you know this woman? I don't. I mean, I listened to some of her records and I may have taken a picture or two yes. of her, but I... <laughs> Go on. Deny to the world that you know me. Perhaps it is true, but I know you. All too well. What is going on here? You rich boys are all alike. You think material possessions can compensate for a broken heart? Well, you can take back your furs and take back this gaudy diamond Ouch. too. <laughs> Sorry, dog. You we had to do this. need your expensive presents. I need you, and more importantly, little Emmett Junior needs you. Well, Edna, I don't. Edna me. Apparently you are not the man I took you for. But I am, see? Uh-oh. The mental alignment meter proves it. I am the man you fell in love with. Let me see that card. Here we go. The main event. <laughs> I should have known. A degenerate criminal. What? Get out of my sight! I oh, never want to God, see I'm you so again. sorry. That was rough, Emmett. I'm sorry you had to go through it, but things are gonna be okay. You and me can. Emmett? That went off great, huh? Yeah. Maybe too great. Okay, we did it. Emmett! It's like no one in sight. Emmett! Go away! Come on! Where are you? I'm sorry you had to go through that scene at the expo. Things didn't work out the way you expected. But everything's gonna turn out okay. See, I, I know how this story turns out and... Oh, dude, don't jump. Story is over. <gasps> oh, don't be crazy. Don't be crazy here. Okay, Emmett, hold still. I know your emotions are running a little wild, but don't do anything crazy. <sighs> emotions? What emotions? My emotions are dead. Take it easy. You don't want to do this. <sighs> they say I'm crazy. Got no sense, but I don't care. They may or may not mean offense, but I don't care. This is actually Stop. pretty sad. <gasps> oh god, that's close. What are you doing up here? Don't jump! I wasn't gonna jump! Oh, okay. Uh, then what do you- This is where I come when I want to think. Oh. When I want to be alone. Oh. Um... Tell me more. What are you thinking about? Can't you take a hint? I don't want you here. I don't need you. You don't know what you need. And you do? Yes. As a matter of fact, yeah. You need... Um... Get a good... Uh, engage your emotions. Have some fun. Get your mind off your problems. Go see a movie. I hear Frankenstein's pretty good. Frankenstein. I tell you that my very life force is drained away, and you want to talk about Hollywood monster movies. It's a very inspirational monster movie. Especially the scene where they bring the monster to life. There's this big gurney that lifts him up into the air and... And see, there's this wild storm going on and lightning crashing everywhere. It's amazing. And you just gotta see it, Emmett. It'll change your life. Do I hear a life. storm in the background? Look at my helmet. Which light is flashing? Yellow. Apathy. I don't care about movies. I don't care about anything anymore. And I never I hear will. like lightning here. Don't give me that. You care. Or thunder. You care about inventing, man. You still care about inventing things. <laughs> inventing is overrated. 99% hype, 10% fraud. Name one invention that ever did anybody any good. Uh, how about... The light bulb. Think about Edison and the light bulb. That was a great invention. Eh, yeah, might have been. If there was anything in this miserable world worth illuminating. Um... The car. The automobile was a great invention, right? You love cars. Yes. If I'm lucky, I may be struck by one today. Um, the, the telephone? The telephone. 
Think how that invention has revolutionized the whole world. Yes. Now a person can be rejected long Okay, distance. if you think about it like that, yes. Um, hmm. Help me out here. You're getting on my nerves, Crockett. At least you would be if I still cared about anything. You care about, uh, you care about me. Me? You care about me, Doc. <laughs> you? Y yeah. You. Oh, God. You did this to me. I did what? I was perfectly content drudging away in my dad's law office. You show up out of nowhere, get me all excited about inventing, and disappear. Two months later, you show up again, you trick me into making a hero out of myself and getting involved with Edna Strickland. Then you appear a third time and pretend to be my friend just so you can yank the rug out from under me and send me sprawling into the dirt. Okay, I can work with that. I love you, Sonny Crockett. Or is that even your real name? Yes. Uh, sure it is. Of course it is. Well, it's a dumb name. Oh, okay. And well, I my name's Mark I'm Fly. I'm getting all worked up over somebody with such a dumb name. Uh, okay. Here's my real name. Marty. My name is Marty. Oh, so everything you told <laughs> me's been a lie. More or less. Why? Why did you ruin my life? Um, I did. I did it for your own good. Edna was no good for you. She was leading you down the wrong path. I see. You had my best interests at heart. Yeah. Just like my father. Oh. But there's more see. to it, see. I did it. For the sake of your future. Your father doesn't know your true path. And you do? Yes! How is it that I could create a mental alignment meter and yet fail to realize that you are completely delusional? Oh, what does it matter? The world is absurd. No, I know exactly what I'm doing. See? I did it for the sake of everyone's future. I know this may sound crazy, but you gotta listen. In 1985, you're gonna invent a time machine. You're right. It sounds crazy. I'm just trying to explain where I'm coming from. I did it for fun. You ruined my life for fun? Yeah, that's how I get my kicks. You... Bastard! Oh, okay. All that time you spent building up my dreams, telling me I was gonna be a great scientist. Uh, okay. If if making him happy doesn't work, we're gonna just knock him down. Yeah, what a laugh! Dreams are only for people with guts enough to follow them. You're saying I don't have guts? You? <laughs> Look at you. He's like a boss battle fan. What do you know? A person like you? You don't know the first thing about me. I have more dreams in my little finger Ooh. than you'll ever have. Hey, daydreams don't count. Daydreams? That's what they said to Edison. That's what they said to Einstein. That's what they said to Dr. Frankenstein. Yeah, and look what they accomplished. I'm sick of people telling me what I can and can't do. I first like underwear. My father, then Is this underwear like science, son? You. Listen to me, good from now on, and I'm living my life my way. I'm taking my own advice, and I'm following my own ideas. You tell. My ideas. Do you hear me? My ideas. It's Scott. I've got it. Got what? A solution. My invention. I know how to make it work. Mental alignment meter? No, no. My airborne personal transport device. The rocket car? Not rockets. Not rockets at all. That was my mistake. The basic idea was sound, but the propulsion system was unworkable. Oh, he's back to normal. Lightning. The lightning. Suddenly, the answer is clear. It came to me all at once. Like... Like... A bolt of lightning? Exactly. Static electricity. Super ionized static electricity powering the asynchronous oscillation of frictionless yep, plates. Yeah, saying a lot of stuff again. It's stupid working. stupid thing doing on my head. Damn it. Hey, you're, you're you again. Here, I've been wasting my time with silly mind-reading tricks when there's serious science to be done. <gasps> and the expo begins at 8. <gasps> let's get the hell out of here before anything else happens. What? I said, let's get uh -oh. out of here before anything... <gasps> <gasps> oh, that was close. That couldn't be bad. All right, all right, Doc. Don't worry. Slowly. Okay. You can't swing on it while it's still attached to the statue. Then we gotta untie it. Let's see. It's not going anywhere. Uh, rope. I can't undo the knot. I wasn't planning on doing anything else. Let's see. 
Damn it! What? Uh. Got anything useful? Anything useful on you? Only my wallet. Oh, and this portable anti-stick, anti-stain formula. That's pretty Salt. good. Hang in there. Very funny. I'm hilarious. We're at the hilarious. <laughs> All right. Now let's get that uh, anti-sticky uh, bobber. Where is it at? It's down here. Oh yeah, this thing's gonna be like solution. This stuff's dangerous. Dissolve the statue and the rope. Spray it up. Now we can swing on it from the chandeliers. That doesn't need to be sprayed by fabric destroying enzymes. I didn't, I didn't mean to do that. Sorry. Hang in there. I don't have a choice. Now we can swing. Like these, and some of these. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Cost Tarzan. Oh, that was a good one. We almost like drop kicked Emmett. Hey! Come on. There we go. Ah, gotcha. Let's get out of here. Pants! They're stuck! Rip your pants! Do something before we're crushed! No! Ah. Can we spray even more? What are you doing? Trust me! Hold on! There we go. What did you say your name was again? Marty. Marty? Thanks! Don't mention it. Whoa! Oh. Oh. <sighs> Tungsten! <sighs> The catalyst will need to be made out of tungsten, given the temperature within the convertible. No, wow, he's already back to normal after we'll that. Have to harvest the filaments from all the light bulbs in my house. Your invention? You think you can finish it before the end of the expo? Think? I've got to. My future depends on it. Then let's go. Of course, the oscillating plates will need to be calibrated precisely. Even the slightest misalignment could cause the magnetic field to fluctuate in intensity, leading to sudden shifts in polarity. The results could conceivably be catastrophic. Oh, that's Who not cares? Good. My thought exactly. Science should be messy and unpredictable, or else where's the fun of it? Oh, poor Edna. Need a lift? Mr. Sagan, got the kinks worked out of your car of the future? Uh, not all of them, but at least the DeLorean's mundane terrestrial functionality remains intact. As usual, I have not the slightest idea what you're talking about. In fact, you remind me of someone... Someone I used to... <laughs> used to know. <laughs> there, there, my dear, don't worry. I'm sure it will all turn out well in the end. Maybe for everyone else. But I suddenly feel very much like someone who's going to be alone and unloved for a very uh, long time. Well, we know Maybe how I that... Maybe I should get a cat. Oh, you should not do that. Nonsense. I can state with nearly 100% certainty... You're going to have a long and fulfilling life. How can you know that? I think you'll find I know almost everything worth knowing. That music in the background is not good. Emmett and his friends. Tell me, how much do you know about Sonny Crockett? Oh no. Oh no. Doc, you're going back to the bad side again, man. We need you. We need you here. Crap. Let's see what's uh, in store for us for the next episode. Let me explain or in the final it episode. again. I realized that it wasn't Edna that made my life miserable. It was science. She used my science to turn Hill Valley into a police state. If Emmett doesn't go through with a demonstration at the expo, his dreams of being a scientist will dim just enough for Edna to step back into his life and steer him down another path. Doc. Oh, back to the future of the game to be concluded in out of time. Yo, all right. I hope you guys enjoyed this another episode of Back to the Future of the Game. We got our plan to work, but then a little miscalculation there. Something happened. Doc, present Doc, went and uh, talked to Edna, 
And now they're going to try to mess things up again. God, we were so close to finishing it. Uh, having a great ending. But no, the story continues. Which is good. I like to keep on playing this game. So we got one more episode in the five-part episode of Back to Future. But I'm pretty sure we're going to have a couple more videos on this game. So I hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys did, give the video a like. Comment down below and let me know. Are you a cat person or a dog person? Simple question, right? I'm a dog person. I like cats, but I do like dogs more. So, like, comment down below, subscribe if you guys are new. My name is Uncaged Games, and you just got caged. Let's get out of here. Damn it, I'm back. Oh, shoot. Why wow, the gas still going on?